In this video, I'm going to be teaching you about Flutter Web. Now, Flutter is very good for making mobile apps, but let's push the cross-platform capabilities and turn our mobile app into a web app as well. So I'll share some tips and tricks on things like responsive design as well as some SEO stuff since this is the web. I've opened up a new Flutter project and you should just get this demo counter app. Now, if you look at the folders, there's Android, iOS, and you should also be able to see web. And you can see I'm currently running the app on the iOS simulator. So at the bottom here, let's change that to Chrome and run the app again. You can see the same app, but now it's on this Chrome window. And I find this just super cool that you can do this. Now, let me show you a few things that will be helpful when dealing with web browsers. So I'm going to delete everything and code this up from scratch. So in the material app, let's just return a blank scaffold. Now, since the web browser can change sizes, you can grab the screen size by accessing the media query. So we can get the width and the height. And just to show you, let's display it in a text widget. And there it is. Now you can see the pixel sizes for both the width and the height as the window changes size. The next thing is let's say we want to build out the pages in a responsive way. So you can use a layout builder and this constraints will give us a similar information about the size. So one easy way to go about this is you can say the width is greater than say 600 pixels, and then it's desktop. Otherwise, it's mobile. Sweet, now let's just make the font size a little bigger. And there it is. So you can see we can make the window bigger and it will be responsive for both mobile and desktop. And to take it a step further, you can create a new file called desktop page and just separate it out. Same as the mobile page. And so this is how you would continue to build this out. And now you can just go to each individual page and edit it. Maybe we can add a color. So that's the layout builder. Now I wanna show you another widget which you may have seen before. So let's say we've got a column with some containers of height 100. So we've got these two boxes and now let's say for the second box, let's remove the height and wrap it in an expanded widget. And what this will do is it will expand to fill up the rest of the space. You can actually do this for both boxes, meaning it will just split in half evenly. We can even add a third box. And there's even a flex property if you want to change up the ratios. I'm a huge fan of Flutter Web and I recently turned my mobile apps into web apps as well so that people can just access it through the browser. So I bought the domain name and hosted the app there. Now one downside people commonly talk about is the fact that Flutter Web isn't good for SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization. So basically Flutter Web is good for making web apps, not websites. And what that means is most websites are built using HTML. And so the texts are all selectable, meaning the search engine can pick it up. Unlike a web app where it's essentially just an app on a canvas. So nothing is really selectable there. 
Now my solution to this is I make the main website or the landing page using HTML. And so on this page, I can put as much text as I want. And then this can be the SEO focused page. And then I can direct people to either the mobile app or you can use the subdomain like I did. So I said chat.chuti.app and there's my Flutter app. And just to show you visually with a flow chart, I'm gonna pull up a razor and let's create a quick AI diagram. So I'm just gonna type generate a flow chart where users first go to the website, which is my main landing page for SEO. And then from there, we have two options to either send them to the mobile iOS app or web app. So let's click generate. Now the cool thing about this is that it actually asks for follow-up questions to make the diagram more complete, but you can also just hit generate. And nice. By the way, I love Eraser because instead of manually dragging these boxes around, you can actually use the code to draw it. So for example, the direction I actually want down. Nice. So this is the flow that I currently use where people will first go to my website or my landing page, which I make using HTML so that it's SEO optimized. And then from there, we can decide where to send the user. So either to the mobile app or to the web app. There's a few workarounds, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and ideas. And if you have any experience using Flutter Web. But that's all I had for today. So let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.